Good morning everyone, we are your student teacher for today and we hope that everyone will cooperate and learn as well. Alright, Mr. Secretary, is there anyone who is not around as of the moment? If none, that would be good. It is good that after a long time of our quarantine, we are here in a classroom setting, but not as the same as before because we still follow the minimum health protocol of the government. Okay, before we start to our lesson proper, I will present some random letters on the PowerPoint. I'm expecting everyone to participate by arranging the jumbled letters into words, which are connected to our topic for today. Do I make myself clear to everyone? That's great! By the way, this game is entitled Arrange Me. You can answer individually, and raising your hand is very much appreciated if you are going to answer. Are you ready? All right, let's begin. This game is Arrange Me. Okay, first word. Atom, that's good. Next. Particles, very nice. Matter, awesome. Okay, neutron, good job. Negatively charged, that's correct. Wow. You are all amazing! Everybody get the correct answer and as I said earlier, these words are connected to our topic for today. The words are atom, particles, matter, neutron, and negatively charged. Congratulations everyone for doing a great job! When you are grade 7, you studied about matter, right? which defined as the substance that occupies space. And there are three different types of matter. What are those? The solid, liquid, and gas. Correct! And this solid, liquid, and gas differentiate in one another by the number of their atoms. What is an atom once again? That's correct! It is nice that all of you are still remembering it. And this will be related to our topic for today. At this point, we are going to have a king and this will be done by partner. You can pick your partner right now and sit with your partner as well. We name this game as Rub Me Baby. Is everybody ready? Alright, so here is the mechanics. We already have the winners! Congratulations to both of you! You really did great! And for those who didn't make it, better luck next time! In our activity earlier, Robbie Baby, what did you notice? Yes, rubbing the balloon in our hair, it pulls the cat until to the finish line. Exactly! This is actually because of the subatomic particles, the neutron, proton, and the electron, which is the main thing that we are going to discuss for the day. The structure of atom and particles major in atom. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to define atoms in subatomic particles, locate subatomic particles in atomic structure, define subatomic charges, demonstrate chemical changes, and express reflection on values integrated, and lastly, perform actively in the class discussion. We now have the structure of an atom. Inside the nucleus is the neutron and the proton, and outside the nucleus is the electron. Is it clear to everyone? Very good. What is inside the atom once again? The proton and the neutron, and outside the nucleus is the electron. Very good. Now let's go back to our activity earlier. You said that when you rub the balloon, it pulls the can. But why? Is anybody having an idea? It's okay, let's review. Earlier, we defined matter as anything who occupies space. We also said that matter is different in terms of their atom, meaning every matter has an atom. Is, is a balloon a type of matter? Yes. 
A balloon has an atom and inside an atom is a nucleus containing proton and neutron and outside the nucleus is the electron. And these subatomic particles have different charges. These charges are the negative, positive, in the neutral or equal charge. Then guess which subatomic particles are positive? It starts with the letter P, the proton, correct? Then which has the negative charge? The electron. And the neutral charge or the equal charge is the neutron. We now identify the proton is the positive charge and the electron is the negative charge. And neutron is the neutron or equal charge. These charges are the one responsible to the activity earlier. The balloon contains the positive and negative charge. But a static balloon has more than positive charge because protons stick to the nucleus because of rubbing, because of rubbing the balloon. The, elect the electron, which is apart from each other outside the nucleus, is now triggered and moved to one place to where you rub it. Now, balloon contains negative charge because of the rubbing action. And we know that in magnet, negative and positive and positive poles attract each other. The, bal the balloon contains negative charge and the tin can have positive charge. Therefore, the balloon pulls the tin can because of different charges. Did you get it? What is the reason again on why the balloon pulled the tin can after rubbing it? Yes, it's because of different charges of and different poles. I think everybody already learned in the structure of an atom. But how about if I ask you what happened to an atom if matter changes from solid to liquid, liquid to gas, or gas to liquid? That's correct. Nothing happens to an atom during chemical changes. The only changes is their physical appearance. The example of liquid to gas happens during water cycle where water rises to the atmosphere and forms into clouds. Solid to liquid is when ice cube exposed in a high temperature. It melted and turned into liquid form. And lastly, when the bunch of wood burns, it turns into ash and it's called solid to gas changes. This time, we'll having a short exercise for everyone to check your understanding in our lesson. You just need to make your statement correct by filling out the correct word located on the box. Alright, I think everybody now is fully understand on our topic for today. But I want you all guys to look at these types of matter. Our family is our strength right now. We are in this school to learn more for our future. Please don't make your family like gas, where atoms are far from each other. Don't make your family members divided due to being arrogant or jealous. Or even don't make your family members liquid. They are not far from each other, but still there is a gap between them. But instead, make your family, family member like solid impacted, close, and no gap between them. Solid is the strongest matter. Make your family stronger than ever expected. Be clear to everyone. No problem with that. Make your dreams come true. At this juncture, you are now going to apply what is our topic all about. This will be done individually. Your drawing and art skills will be measured here. So you will draw an example of chemical changes. You may put an arrow to define changes you see. There is an example in the presentation that you may use as your guide. We have here the direction. Draw example of chemical changes based on what is being asked. First, liquid to gas. Second, solid to liquid. And last is solid to gas. I am giving you five minutes to finish your work. Before we proceed to our quiz, let's have first a short review on what you have learned today. For our first question, what are the three subatomic particles of an atom again? Yes, Kim, that's right. Proton, electron, and neutron. Next question, what are their charges? Katrina, very good. Proton has positive charge, electron has negative charge, and neutron has equal charge. Give me an example of chemical change. Laika. Correct. Liquid to gas. How about what happens when poles are different to one another? JM. Awesome. It will attract to each other. For the balance integration, always remember that we should make our family like solid. Particles which is compacted and near to each other. This time, let's proceed to our quiz. For test 1, direction, identify the three subatomic particles of an atom based on the illustration below. 
I will giving you 5 minutes to finish the test 1. Next, test 2 directions. Identify what chemical changes is being asked. For the assignment or agreement, study how to calculate protons, electrons, and neutrons. Look for the table of elements. Is your assignment here? Good. Please stand on everyone and goodbye. Once again, I am Jim Ramilia. I am Christine Joy Alday. And I am Giancarlo Espronda. Thank you and God bless.